Nick Kajalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. It's leg day. I'm running on about three and a half hours of sleep. I barely slept. But I'm still here, which is the most important thing. I had a terrible night's sleep, slept like three and a half hours, was woken up in the middle of the night constantly. I've got a baby on the way, so, you know, it's, it's a nightmare. I'm only joking, I don't have a baby on the way, that was a joke. I was trying to make up some excuse, but you know, I have no excuse. I should have got my sleep, I didn't get it. I didn't get enough sleep. Before we get into the video, guys, you know the drill. Join my community, the Mendez Cartel, if you want to get in great shape naturally, if you want full access to all my training programs, click the link in the description, join the Mendez Cartel. And if you want one-to-one -one coaching, go to my Instagram, link in the description, and DM me cartel. All right, let's get to work. What we're doing today is ascending triples. So this is my last triple. I've been working up, so I did 160 for three, 170 for three, 180 for two sets of three, and then my final triple is 185 for a triple. They're feeling good. Listen, as good as I can feel today, I've had no sleep, so whenever you don't sleep well, like the session always suffers, but I feel as good as I can. You know, do my, doing my best to defend the Natty Crusade. New, news came out yesterday that Alex Eubank has jumped on gear. It's incredibly sad, man. He was one of the, 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 you know, the main Natty guys that I looked at and was like, geez, this guy's a great Natty guy. And he's, he's turned to the dark side. It's really, really sad to see he's jumped on the gear. Very few people resist the temptation. Very few people have, have it inside to resist the temptation. So never, never join the dark side. Make sure you keep fighting for the Natty Crusade. And that's what I'm doing today. Another day fighting for my right to be Natty. All right, let's get it. 185, top set triple. Last triple. Let me take my shirt off for this one. As you can see, the squat knot on my back. This guy's benching while I'm squatting. <laughs> All right, let's go, come on. Nice three piece. That last rep, my hips kind of jumped forward a little bit, but that's fine. So I'll take that on a day like this. All right, we're on to RDLs. Doing a top set of eight on, on 200 keys, on 200 kilo, top set of eight. Let's go. It's going to be tough, but let's go. I'm feeling it, feeling the tiredness. I can, I can fall asleep right here, right now. But. You've got to ask yourself, when are you ever fully fresh? When, are, when, are, when do you ever come into a session and everything feels good? Very rarely. Like maybe once out of every, once a week you might feel good. Once a month sometimes you might feel good. Most of the time, you've got some kind of problem. You're a little tired, you've just got to deal with it. You've just got to deal with it. All right, 200 for eight. I have to get this, I can't miss. I can't miss. I cannot miss. I cannot miss, I cannot get anything less than eight when my mum dies. Just check the camera's recording, sometimes I forget to do that. All right, let's go, baby, come on. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Real men use straps, bro. Real men. It's easier to pull with no straps. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right, people. Next exercise, we're doing Bulgarians. Um, three sets of five this week. We're going up in weight, dropping the reps by one. So I did a three by six on 100 kilo last week. We're doing a three by five on 105 this week. So up in the weight by five keys, but dropping one rep out. This is going to be tough, man. Uh, these are hard. These are brutal. But uh, a bloody class exercise for, you know, increasing your squat. These really help with squat. Probably one of the best squat accessories is Bulgarians. All right, let's go. Put a fight in. I'm exhausted, man. I'm falling asleep. Pretty smooth. Pretty, pretty smooth. I'll take that. Pretty comfortable. And next week I'll probably go for 110 for a top five. Oh, sweet baby mama. I was talking in my community today about the fact you've got to have a Navy SEAL mindset. You've got to have... I'm, I'm a big admirer of anyone in the Special Forces. You look at the Royal Marine Commandos, those guys in America, they've got the Navy SEALs. They've got the SAS here as well. You know, some of the toughest guys, some of the most mentally tough guys you'll ever see in life. You know, I look up to guys like that. I admire guys like that. They possess a level of mental toughness to operate under extreme pressure where the stakes are at the highest. You know, you talk about professional athletes and footballers and rugby players and, you know, uh, you know elite, elite sportsmen. Those guys deal with pressure, yes. You know, you're taking a big penalty in a World Cup final or something. Yeah, it's pressure. But if you miss that penalty, you get to go home and see your family. These guys, the Navy SEALs, the SAS guys, the British military... These guys are dealing with real pressure. They make a mistake, they die. They lose their friends. They, bad things happen. That's elite pressure of the highest order that most human beings, including myself, would never understand because I've never been in that situation. So I always look at these guys. You know, I'm watching a lot of Ant, Ant Middleton. I think he's a brilliant guy, a great role model for the next generation. A lot of guys, you know, just having that mindset. Those guys, you know, they'll go three days with no sleep and still find a way to operate to the highest level, still be their best self under extreme pressure. I didn't have a lot of sleep last night. You know, but I'm in the gym today getting my work in. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not doing anything close to what those guys are doing. So what's my excuse? You know, I had a bad night's sleep, three and a half hours sleep, barely slept, like three hours. I'm still in the gym getting leg day, leg day in. You've got to find a way to operate under horrible circumstances. You know, and the Navy SEALs, those guys do it to the highest level. I'm just talking, you know, I'm talking on a smaller scale in, in the gym. You know, I don't know what those guys go through, but I look, I look at them. How do they deal with such extreme pressure in very hard circumstances, sleep, deprived, tired, and they still operate? Have that mindset, have that Navy SEAL mindset, have that SAS mindset. Try and, try and operate when, 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 even on your worst days, you know? All right, calves, four sets of 25 standing calf raises. Ladies, let's get this clown show over and done with. Gonna finish up with some abs, V handle, cable crunches, three sets of 20, full stack. 
like a proper ladies' man. They call me the ladies' man. Woo! You hard cowboy, come on now. Where you from, dog? I'm from Texas, baby. West Virginia. Yeah, you, yourself? I'm from Dallas, cowboys, man. I'm American, man. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. I'm from Texas. Ugh. Alright gentlemen, that's the video. I'm exhausted, I'm running off three hours sleep. You've got to be able to operate in horrible circumstances and still produce and be the best you, and be your best self. Nick Ojalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, the Natty King, the last true Natty Crusader. We're losing crusaders every day, guys. They're turning to the dark side. Stay natty. All glory to Jesus. Subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Join the Mendez Cartel, my community links in the description. And if you want personalized one-to-one -one coaching, go to my Instagram and DM me cartel. And as always, long live King Charles III and God bless Sir Winston Churchill. <laughs>